Hey everybody. So I wanted to bring attention to Chelsea Grimm. I have a bit of a cold, so don't mind my voice. This is her. She went missing on October 6, 2023. The department report states the number is S2303352. Description, Chelsea Grimm was reported missing on 10-4 to the Phoenix Police. Her vehicle, a white Ford Escape SUV, was located on 10-5 by Hunters on Kevab National Forest Road, 6 northeast of Ashworth, Arizona. The vehicle may have been there as early as 10-3, 2023. Chelsea Grimm was supposed to be traveling from California to Connecticut. The last known contact with Chelsea was on 9-27-2023 in the Phoenix, Arizona area. Anyone with information about Chelsea Grimm or the situation is urged to call the Co Co Nino County Sheriff's Office Vehicle White 2019 Ford Escape Missing Person Chelsea Grimm. And the number is 1-800-338-788. All right. And there is a post with a bunch of pictures. So I'm going to share that right now. And that's the vehicle. And I'm going to bring up, there was actually a new video that was put out 19 hours ago. I'm going to share that. It is body cam footage. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? New body camera video tonight shows a Williams police officer making contact with 32-year-old Chelsea Grimm days before her car was found on a remote road without her in it. In the video, the officer says they got a call for suspicious activity near the cemetery in Williams, and he came to check on her. Chelsea appears to be upset and explains she was working on a photography project. Are you doing all right? Yeah, I just was doing a photo shoot of the lost soldiers and got a little uh, emotional, so I'm I was so crying before okay. I got back on the road. Her disappearance, days after this video was recorded, has both family and authorities confused, searching high and low for tips as to where she went. Here's what we know so far. Chelsea planned to drive from her home in San Diego to Connecticut to meet her family for a wedding, but she told her family she was stopping to camp in Arizona instead. Investigators know on September 27th, she met a friend in Phoenix, then canceled lunch with that friend the next day. On September 28th, she surfaces in Williams and has that conversation with the officer, telling him she's planning to camp nearby. Yeah, if it's okay with you, to, yeah. if I hang out here for another like 15 or 20 and then head on the road, that would be my plan, sure. I think. Do you have like a hotel around here or anything? I don't. I was actually thinking of just camping for the night, but I wasn't really sure exactly yet. Gotcha. Well, I didn't you, plan to be here until sunset. The yellow lights over there, the loves, it's a trucker stop in, okay. in the gas station area. You can just sleep there. Nobody, oh, will, nobody will bother you. Awesome. Yeah. Love that. The sheriff's office says on September 30th, a woodcutter in an area near Ash Fork, Arizona, sees Chelsea camping in her car, talks to her, and she says she's okay. But that's the last known contact she had with anyone. We're trying our best to hold on to the positive outcome scenarios and put our faith in the authorities. On October 4th, her parents report her missing. And on October 5th, hunters in the same rural area find her abandoned Ford Focus SUV in the middle of a dirt road with flat tires on the right side. It was locked. Many of her belongings were found inside, but there was no trace of her and all cell phone and credit card activity has since stopped. The Coconino County Sheriff's Office says while they don't suspect foul play at this point, they're trying to figure out if she got in another vehicle or if she hiked out. Either way, by the time they began investigating her disappearance, it had already been five days since the last time anyone saw her alive. 
The sheriff's office tells me they're actively working with her family and friends on any tips and leads. She also has a pet bearded dragon that is a good identifying factor and possible clue to her whereabouts if it's found. Of course, if you have any information about Chelsea Grimm, please call the Coconino County Sheriff's Office, and we'll also be staying on top of this investigation. Live in the newsroom tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family. So strange that her vehicle was found with everything inside, but the tires flat, and it just doesn't uh, add up. Brianna, thank you. I know you'll continue to update us on that search. This so I will keep everybody posted if I see any more information. I do apologize. I was going to go live with this story, but I do have a really bad cold, and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great night. Bye, guys. Love you all.